In this video, my friends from CellZone are going to show you the seven core features of their brand new tool. What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the channel. If you're an Amazon FBA seller, keep watching because this new tool is going to change the way that you run your business. CellZone is a tool created by the team that built SEM Rush. So when I found out that they were making an Amazon selling tool, I was pumped because SEM Rush has always been next level. It's like one of the cream of the crop tools in an extremely competitive niche. They're amazing with data, gathering data, and making it easy to work with. So I knew that when they made an Amazon selling tool, it was gonna be good. So they sent me over an overview video exclusively for you guys to check out. It's gonna show the seven core features and how to use them in your own Amazon business to make more money. If you're interested, sit back, relax, check it out. And thank you to CellZone for sending me this video, letting me share it with my audience. In this video, we're gonna discuss all the seven sub tools from the toolkit and I'll show you some pro tips on how to use each particular functionality. Let's start with the Traffic Insights tool. This is an analytics tool that helps you evaluate both internal and external traffic channels from which uh, you can attract new audience and get some new customers. With this tool, you can find out how your competitors are getting new conversions, benchmark their marketing strategies, and adjust your marketing strategy accordingly to expand the reach of your products. To start, just insert the ASIN of the desired product or up to three at the same time to compare them side by side. I will use the report example to show you the functionality. Basically, Traffic Insights is a set of reports, each of them dedicated to a specific traffic channel. While the overview report just gives you a helicopter view on what's going on with your traffic acquisition and provides you with a set of graphs of charts from each specific report, the first report, which is Amazon Organic, gives you a complete list of keywords that they analyzed products are ranking for. You get additional information like keyword search volume, the SERP features which may be present on the SERP page, the average position of each uh, listing for the specific keyword, its total traffic and the number of competitors who also rank for the specific keyword. You can also apply keyword relation. For example, if you want to know what keywords you're missing while your competitors are getting traffic from them. Just tap on the missing button and you'll see that, for example, you could get at maximum more than 100 potential customers if you also ranked for such keyword. And this is a perfect source of ideas for new keywords for you to rank. The same goes for a Google Organic Report. We're the only toolkit in the market who provides data on external traffic channels of Amazon listings. And you should not forget about such lucrative traffic sources, Google Organic Search, and also see what keywords you can add to the content of your listings to get some new traffic from a free traffic source, which en enables your marketing power. Then. One of the most popular reports of the Traffic Insights tool is the Referrals Report, which is designed to help you find which third-party websites have backlinks pointing to the analyzed product and get detailed information on each backlink on it. So if you expand results here, you would see what source page has a backlink what is this backlink exactly, how it looks, and we even provide a proprietary metric called page authority score, which lets you evaluate whether these uh, backlinks are really valuable for you. Don't miss your chance and see how your competitors are attracting their traffic from the web and try to reach out to these referring domains too. The last report I wanted to discuss is the Google Shopping Ads report which also gives you an understanding of what keywords your competitors may be bidding on for their products to be listed in shopping ads and assess each opportunity based on the data provided in the report. Play around with other filters, find the keywords that you need and explore the historical data. Next tool I wanted to show you is the listing quality check 
which is an audit tool that helps you evaluate the overall health of your listings based on such a proprietary metric as listing quality score. We have recently updated the logic behind it, so you can be sure that your listing is very thoroughly uh, assessed and the final score uh, would be as realistic as possible. So with this tool, uh, you can make 100% sure that uh, your listing is completely optimized, that it doesn't have any content incompleteness, any content errors, and uh, that it follows the best recommendations for you to improve your online visit. After you insert an ASIN of the desired product, just click on the check button. And when the report is done, expand the details. You would be able to see the three groups of checks available in listing quality checks. Check their Amazon requirements, Amazon style guides, and best practices, which we've gathered from our own professional research. The algorithm is the following. If you see any uh, mistake, any error in your listing, pay attention to the most critical ones at first. If you see any uh, mistake, just go to your Amazon Seller Central account, make the necessary changes and get back to the tool. Rerun the audit and see that the changes applied were really of value. We advise to regularly audit your listings and reassure that every day you get as much as possible from uh, Amazon and that your listing ranks high in, uh, in organic search results. I also need to point out that with this tool you don't need to worry uh, about possible suspend suppressions of your listings since the number of checks in listing quality check is the biggest in the market, this one is really advantageous for you to try out. Switch to the Keyword Wizard tool, a really magical tool for keyword research. Why magical? Because its keyword database is the biggest in the market, and since we're powered by SEMrush, we ensure the highest quality and accuracy of our keyword data. So using it, you can make sure that you'll find the most relevant keywords that you're able to target and outbeat your competitors using just one. To start using it, just enter a seed keyword that may be a short phrase describing a product that you're selling or would like to sell. Uh, let's try office chair. And when they're just done, you get a responsive table with a lot of keywords, keyword variations for your seed keyword. And to find the low-hanging fruit, I suggest you to play around with such filters as uh, search volume, number of competitors, uh, word count, which enables you to find uh, the long-tail keyword which express the customer's intent to buy. You can also exclude and include different keywords that you need. And after you set the necessary match type, you can also narrow down your research. But the most prominent feature of Keyword Wizard is maybe their related report, which actually shows top ranking keywords of the best performing ASINs for your seed keyword. Assess the relevance of each suggestion and just use each single opportunity to enrich your keyword profile since this report is something unique to Cellzone and we are really proud of, of this one. Another great feature, a time saver, is the search terms feature. So in just one click, you can get a, an analysis of the most frequently met search terms so that you could just copy it to the clipboard and then insert into the search terms field in your Amazon Seller Central account. It is something an Amazon expert would do in uh, more than one day and you can do it with just one click. Uh, so just try it out and you'll see how profitable such a feature is. Let's get back to the dashboard. Next must have from Cellzone is the listing protection tool. It is an online monitoring system that helps you ensure that you're aware of any changes happening to your listings and that you are ready for possible listing hijacking so you could instantly make any necessary changes and that your listing is available, not suppressed. So 
Once you set up the tool and configure the necessary parameters, you can just forget about it so that the tool will do the rest for you. To start again at the ASIN, and for your convenience, some parameters will be pre-configured for you. They are price and content, which is description, title, and image. But you can also change the tracked parameter to your uh, desired option uh, so that you could track um, this particular variant. The other parameters that can be tracked are keywords. So if some of the keywords uh, that you have tracked uh, here get out of top 100 and we don't find your listing, in the first 100 results, you will get notified. The same is for the seller in the buy box. For suppression issues, for this, you must connect your Amazon Seller Central account. And as for the notification options, you can choose one of the two, either via email, via SMS, or for both if necessary. So stay tuned to the updates and make sure that your listings are protected with the cell zone. Creating a perfect listing would be much easier if you could test each option. So here I introduce you the split testing tool, which is a completely free tool for all users. And it's something we also suggest to try to each of, well, each of our customers. To start using it, you would need to connect your Amazon Seller Central account. It's a very easy process and it can be done in your profile section. Then when it's complete, you can create your first split test. Click on the violet button, set the test duration from one to 30 days, but we recommend at least seven to get valid results. Then select one parameter you'd like to test one at a time. They, they may be a title, price, description, and main image. Then change this a listing element accordingly, add something or <laughs> delete the necessary part, and now you're ready to publish the changes on Amazon. Then if Amazon accepts the changes, th the test starts, and for the time that you've set, uh, the tool will be automatically accounting the number of sales for the test period and for the original period. And each day you will be able to monitor the results and after the test is so you will also see who is the winner which variant brought you more conversions and you'll be able to choose whether you want to keep the test version if it's the winner or publish the original version back very simple process much simpler than an amazon and so you could you must definitely try it out and enjoy a seamless process of split testing with cellzone to be a successful seller means to know what products to sell and what goods would bring you the biggest benefits. This is when the product research tool may come in handy. As the split testing, this is a completely free tool for all cell zone users and it offers a great sub-tool called FBA calculator uh, for completely off charge uh, so that you could evaluate the profits of uh, each unit sold and compare the compare what you would gain from selling the first or the second product. So to start the research, just select the category that you're interested in, or you can also perform the search by keyword, then set the selling price if this is something that you need, then click on find products, and after the research is done, you would see up to 50 product cards containing a very, some very important information for you as a seller to be able to understand what you need to sell and how you can choose from such a plenty of different products available on Amazon. We offer you such data as the range of sales per month. Some precise figures may be found in the tooltip. Then the fees breakdown, the profit, which I'll show you just in a few seconds. A number of sellers, reviews, rating, and variations. And almost all of these metrics may be also filtered with the advanced search feature. So if you know exactly what metrics your perfect product must, uh, this sidebar is something that you should definitely use. For example, uh, if you want to see only products with a, some specific number of reviews, or if you don't want to see products that Amazon always also sells. 
So speaking about the profit calculator, I want to see how much money would I gain from selling these chop sabers. Uh, so based on the data that we already know that we pulled from Amazon, you can calculate your profit, just change these variables accordingly, the product price and the product cost. So if, uh, let's say I produce this chop sabers for uh, $4, then I'd gain uh, $2.63 from selling each unit. And this is a perfect tool to get you read from these endless calculations. But this is not all that you can consider when choosing some particular product. You can also pay attention to the best sellers rank trend to understand the dynamic of the popularity of, of the product throughout the time, to understand the seasonality and even find supplier for this product on Alibaba.com to finish uh, your research. And if you're really interested in some product, just add it to your favorites to be able to get back to the list later and export it if necessary. Then know what you need, what you need to sell and how it will be going. If you already have some product selling and you're wondering how to expand your reach with some paid traffic, then the PPC Optimizer tool is for you. This tool helps you create and build an Amazon advertising campaign from scratch in the following areas. Polish an existing ad language, harvesting new lucrative keywords that bring you sales, and creating a list of negatives to avoid keyword cannibalization. To start using the campaign, first you need to connect your Amazon advertising account, which can be done in the profile section or right in the tool. Then you need to define the product you want to promote. So select an SKU from your inventory, set the start date and end date if necessary, define your daily budget, and set the custom bid, which is the maximum amount you want to pay per click next. At this step, you may add those keywords and negatives that you're 100% sure will work for your campaign. But if you are unaware of such keywords, don't worry, the tool will do everything for you. So let's start our campaign. Once the campaign is started, here in the product list, you will see the product that you have launched the campaign for. And let's expand the details. Here you can see that the PPC Optimizer tool actually creates not one, but four different campaigns, which are auto, road, exact, and product. They work together as a funnel to ensure that those keywords and ASINs that Amazon garners for you in the auto group are relevant and performing well. So based on the sales data, we move these keywords and ASINs from the auto group to groups of lower level. More than that, to ensure that the campaign groups do not compete with each other, once we register a sale, these keywords and ASINs move as a negatives, as negatives to the campaigns of a higher level. So if you click on the number of keywords or negatives, you fall through to the keyword manager, where you can see what keywords and negatives are actually registered for these campaigns and what you're targeting right now, what you're spending your money on right now. In this reporting section, you can also see such important metrics for all sellers as daily budget, spend, CPC, revenue, impressions, clicks, and CTR. The interface is pretty simple and straightforward, it should, and you don't need to worry about those difficult reporting sections in Amazon itself. At the same time, if you need more advanced reporting, you can see how the metrics changed throughout the time. We mean revenue, orders, ACOS, clicks, and impressions. Feel free to filter out this data by each group and disable those metrics that aren't important right now. If you're wondering about the nature of the changes happening to your campaign, we've recently developed the change log. Which shows you in detail the exact product, date and time, exact action, and the reason for this action. Uh, so you can trace back any adjustment happening to your campaign. And also filter them out by exact product and action. Now you're almost ready to start your first advertising campaign with Cellzone. 
Remember, we don't recommend managing your keywords and negatives manually. The AI algorithms involved in the process of optimization are designed to manage uh, keywords and negatives manually, independently. This can mess up the results of the campaign. So try out the PPC Optimizer for free, start optimizing one of your products and enjoy the benefits of a completely automated system of optimization of your Amazon advertising. Bye-bye.